women of God have been uh, humbled to come here. And I believe that the Lord will bless all of us. Even those ones who are outside, they should say amen. 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 Yes. <laughs> Evidently, they are here. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. amen. I wanted us to sing in one or two worship songs, and then we go through the one. And we can call that a day if it's okay with you. Somebody just raise your hands and worship Jesus. She is living by a Yeah. 
being before him. When he showed the riches of his glorious kingdom and the honor of his excellent majesty, many days, even a hundred and four square days, the man is doing practice for all those days. Even those days of man. The Bible says, And when these days were expired, the king made a feast unto all the people that were present in Shushan the what? Both unto great and small seven days in the court of the garden of the king's palace. You can imagine. Seven days of feasting. The Bible says, Where were white, green, and blue hangings, fastened with coats of fine linen and purple, right? And purple to what? Silver rings and pillars of the marble. The beds were of gold and silver and upon a pavement of red and blue and white and black. And they gave them drink in the vessels of gold, the vessels being diverse from one another, and royal wine in abundance, according to the state of the king. The drinking was according to the law. None did compel, so for so the king had appointed to all the officers of his house, and they said they should do according to every man's pleasure. Also, verse 3, the queen made a feast for women in the royal house, which belonged to king. Now, how do you go? So, on the seventh day, when the heart of the king was very happy, or merry, with wine, he commanded Mehuma, Bija, Habona, Gabitsa, and Adza, Zepha, Zepha, and Kakas, in the seven chamberlains that served in the presence of Ahasuerus the king, to bring Vashti the queen before the king which the, with the crown royal. Are you hearing me? Mm. To show the people and the princes her beauty, for she was fair to look on. But the queen Vashti refused to come at the king's command by his chamberlain. Therefore was the king very wroth, or oh, annoyed, and his anger burned in him. Then the king said to the wise men, which knew the time. For so was the king's manner toward all that knew law and judgment. That means every time he had issues that were of anger, he called men who knew the time. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures tell you, so was the king's manner toward all who knew law and judgment. So anybody that knew law and judgment, every time, he always looked for men who knew the time. Okay, when you go to America. The Bible says, and the next unto him was Kashena, Shetha, and you have names for the children, <laughs> Martha, Tashish, Mary, Masena, and Nimka, and the seven princes of Persia and Medea, which saw the king's face, which sat at the first in the kingdom. What shall we do unto the queen Vashti according to the law? Because she has not performed the commandment of the king Ahasuerus by the chamberlain. And the American Nimka answered before the king, the princess, Vashti has not done wrong to the king only, but also to all the princes and to all the people that are in all the provinces of the king of. You'll understand why I'm reading the story. So for this deed of the queen shall come abroad unto all women, so that they shall they shall despise their husband in their eyes. Are you hearing? Me? When it shall be reported, the king of Thirst commanded Vashti the queen to be brought in before him, but she came not again. Likewise shall the ladies of Persia and Medea say this day unto all the king's princes which have heard of the deed of the queen. Thus shall there arise too much contempt and wrath. If it please the king, let there go a royal commandment from him, and let it be written among the laws of the Persia and Medea, that it be not altered, that Vashti come no more before the king Ahasuerus, and let the king give her royal estate unto another that is better than she. That is how Vashti lost her position and queen. queen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me start preaching. Now I'm speaking to women of Papa. Praise the Lord, I'm speaking to women of Papa. I'm not speaking to all this church, that church, the other ministry. I'm speaking to women of Papa because that's the instruction. <coughs> Our Pharaoh married a woman. Praise the Lord. He feasts for seven days. He gets drunk. He called her for that she might he might show her a bit. The Bible tells you she refuses. She disobeys her husband. 
The spirit behind men who understand the time. The Bible speaks in the book of, of Chronicles that when he was giving David men, he gave him men of war, he gave him men of battle, he gave him men of, 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 of counsel and, 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 and consolation. But he tells him, but of the sons of Ishaka, he gave him men with the understanding of the time. Why? The next line says, to know what Israel ought to do. So men who understand time know what a nation ought to do. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Not every man knows. Not everyone knows. But those who understand the times know what a nation ought to do. Praise the Lord. Now, our Sarah had the wisdom to understand that when you're around men with the times, those men know what you have to do in every circumstance. Why? Because they understand the mind of God in the times appointed. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the times appointed. These were the kind who in that mind would have called at the man and told him, well, your queen refused to come because by the times of God you are not even supposed to be having feast. It should have been a time of war. Mm -hmm. He should have listened. Because the kings of them the same day, it's not the most successful we know, always submitted themselves under the prophetic line, a nation of men who understood time. Okay? Mm -hmm. Such that they don't make sense. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's to a higher big Christian state. Every man, that is woman, inclusive, should learn to surround themselves with people who understand time. If you must grow in God, surround yourself with people who understand time. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Not people of sentiment only and affair, but people who understand time. Every person with purpose under the earth. Why? Because the Bible says, for every purpose under the earth, the can adjust it. There shall be or a season and time. Praise the Lord. So how can you be a woman of purpose and you cannot tell season and time? How can you be a woman of purpose and you cannot tell which season the nation is in, which season our generation is, which season you are in as an individual, and what is your appointed time? The Bible says in the book of Acts, he has appointed their individual timing and their boundaries of habitation that they might seek after. If happy, they will be after and find God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Our uh, issues of the earth, times appointed and the boundaries of habitation, if they must be, not only physical, that you live in Moanda Road, but also spiritual, that you have a certain ranking by the Spirit, should only should be to the consequence of this one end of life, that you might seek after God, and after seeking after God, you will feel after God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And the feeling after God is what actually detects or probably describes the true oneness of communion. You cannot be a Christian who cannot feel what God feels. Are you hearing me? Amen. You cannot be a Christian who can get to a place where God will be vexed and you're indifferent to the vexation. You cannot be a Christian who can get to a place where God requires intercession. You cannot pray. But that is only to the wisdom of people who understand the times. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So he goes to the men of the times, and the men of the times actually are found. It should have been a priest, sorry, it should have been a priest at that time, but also the men of understanding again are telling them that this woman, regardless of anything, she should have been cunning. And the judgment is, if she is not a blessed, the women that are after the princess also shall learn to do the same to their own husband, mm -hmm. and this shall create wrath. But this position in a place where one action can affect not only her destiny and the destiny of her husband, but it also affects the destiny of all that should come after, mm -hmm. because she takes preeminence. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You get what I'm trying to tell you? Mm -hmm. The price you understand that you have to pay, because of how many people are behind you by reason of the anointing of God upon your life. Oh there are people who can live a normal life, are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. And screw up all the kinds of things that they can screw up and still walk out with it. Mm -hmm. But there are many people who have not yet weighed the price of what it takes for them to lose it because they don't even have a clue of how many people can be affected by reason of having been under that person. Good. And consequently, you realize that one spirit functioning in Vashti 
hadhi ya pili akwa ni kilomero gusto to multiply na zawini praise the lord jesus christ praise the lord jesus christ Amen. the first place of assignment besides the gift you can call it the bible says that the gift you can call it of god allowed to bend you and that's understandable that the assignment of god upon your life is with repentance why because assignment is gift is different from gift and calling assignment is attached to divine purpose are you hearing which he purposed in god paul says that is bigger than whether you are a prophet or not you can stay a prophet and the assignment goes on another because the places of assignment just seek available vessels not anointed vessels available vessels not prophet available vessels not teacher available vessels simple available vessels Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And because this place is still available, yes. Yes. sometimes you understand why God gets to a point and say, who shall we say? Mm-hmm. You mean there are not men on the earth? At that point, he didn't care whether it was a blind, deaf, he just said, who shall we say? Only the man that was distinctive enough to hear the who shall we say is the only person who could say, send me Lord. Because at that point, divine purpose was bigger than the calling and election. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And because divine purpose is clear, it tells you, for every purpose under the earth, the Lord is this season and time. Mm-hmm. It was a season of feasting, it was a time of feasting, and it was a February for the Queen to have been present. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now I tell you the two indifferences of Vashti. If you want to then give this. Method the title call it Vashti, the, 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 the indifference of Vashti. You don't know the story of the indifference, ask a teacher. You know? <laughs> Can I continue? The indifference of Vashti. Number one, the king has told her, number one, the king has, has, has put a fish. Praise the Lord. Amen. We expect Vashti to understand that if the king has been with, he has created a fish for his own people. You're his aid. You're the helper. The scripture says in the Genesis that the wife is a helper meet for Adam. Not just a helper, but helper suitable. You understand what I'm saying? So in the household, she's not just Mr. So-and-so's wife. She is the helpmate suit. You understand? Yeah. And I'll tell you, whether you understand it or not, and I, I don't know, probably sometimes men are not like her parents. They don't see. You also have a problem there sometimes. Okay? But the most important place was, do you realize that this was a man who put fish for everybody, but he realized there was this one thing called Vashti, his right hand thing. Are you hearing me? You see where I'm coming from? Mm-hmm. Now, if you read Hebrew, you have to realize the name Vashti is translated as beautiful. Mm-hmm. I don't know why, but God intended it that way. Okay? So Vashti is translated as beautiful. beautiful. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so it is that the Bible says she was fair to look on. Everybody who looked at her would say her, Saba, Bak. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> now, she looks at what is wonderful in the woman. Are you hearing me? Yes. And he chooses to bring that out. She says, well, where is my queen? Number one, indifference is Vashti. The husband has made a fish. She has also gone to make a fish. Mm. You'll understand at the end, don't worry. The husband has gone to what? To make a feast. Have you ever told me? To make a feast. Yes. <laughs> the husband has gone to make a feast. And then Vashti also goes and gets her royal girl and also goes to make a feast. You don't understand what I'm saying. Your husband, it's like one time I found a couple. <laughs> the man is a pastor in one church, the wife. <laughs> you know, she's a worshiper in another church. I said, really? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The husband is a what? <laughs> An associate pastor in one ministry. The wife is a worship, worship, uh, worship leader in another church. You understand? As in, one guy that will watch it. Now you want to come and make it. Now, she knows that she is the body of the man and he is the head. But you look at an instance where the two become one and the head is going in a direction the body is not going. That consequence of indifference. Praise the Lord, women. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, one, she, she didn't even see the reason as why her servants probably did. Or if so, 
she did not see or approve what I have said did as a nurse for her satisfaction, except if she always also put her own of what she calls so. Praise the Lord. Now the man is drunk. He calls this beautiful woman to come out because he wants to boast of her beauty. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He doesn't want to ashamed her. He doesn't want to harm her. All he just wants to do is do what? Show it all. Show her beauty. I don't know if I'm going to show her what? <laughs> and now the scriptures tell you when she when he calls for her, but still refuses. Really, what is the reason why you're refusing to come? But speak. Answer me, but speak. But speak, answer. <laughs> Indifferent. <laughs> Indifferent. Thank you very much, sir. But that refused to answer. <laughs> the praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. She did not have the wisdom to understand that the time is called for her exaltation by her master. Are you hearing me? Amen. Amen. So what does Vashti do? She refuses to come. The scriptures tell us the king is wrong. He's annoyed. He has reasons to be annoyed. Now, the scriptures don't give us the reasons as to why Vashti gave. I mean the reasons Vashti gave for having not come. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. But the scriptures show us the whole in Vashti. Mm. That a lot of women have. And I hope in a few minutes I'll fix it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So they said, let us let us sit in council. They sit in council, princess of Persia, princess of Media, all the guys that sat next to to the king. And they discussed the matter and actually say, if you keep Vashti in this line of kingdom, what example is she setting for all the wives of the princes? You understand? Probably the bigger picture to Vashti was, did you know who you are to the kingdom? Mm, mm, mm. Or did you know what one action could have done to the many lives, both born and unborn? Did you know the effect of the line of leadership and the anointing upon you? And if corrupted by your ignorance, what effect it should have? to every woman in the household. Probably yes, yes. she didn't know oh, that you can do one thing and it affects a number of households. True. Not because you've done it, but because there is a line of access by reason of the anointing that is upon you when you became queen. Are you hearing me? Yes. There was an anointing that mantled you the moment you became a queen. Mm. Was she? You must understand that the moment you became a queen, you could not be like any other woman. I mean, some woman down there in the alley could have disobeyed and the husband slapped her two times and they made peace. Or even quarreled and made peace. But you have a speak. Because of the responsibility and anointing upon your life, you might not have many chances to rewrite the mistakes that you made. And that is why the Bible even tells us that for such of us who have the reputation of teaching, let us be careful. Because we have much judgment on us. Now, but she was not only a queen, but she had the ability by dictates to teach by the actions that she had. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She had a communication to the kingdom more than eight, more than one. And that's why Peter speaks of communication. The women wives, sorry, the, the, the communication wives have beyond one. That if your husbands believe not, you might win them over through the communication without one. That they might observe your church conversation. And might be one of them. Chase the word there for chase is discipline. Mm. That's Peter chapter 3. That they might observe your discipline conversation. Are you hearing me? Mm. And when they observe your discipline conversation, the Bible says there will be one of them. There will be one of them. There will be one of them. If they believe not. Mm. That means that there is a possibility of a woman having a man who doesn't think the way she thinks, but God has shown you how to make him think. Yeah. Amen. And how can marriage fail you? Amen. How can a man fail you? Ah, ah, let me ask. Papa's women, smile on oh. Papa. How can a man fail you? Oh. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible has. Let's open there. First Peter chapter three. Let's open there. Someone has already opened there. It says, "Likewise, you wives, not women. If you're not, a, if you're a woman and you're not planning to get up, if you're a wife, we're Jeremy. Likewise, you wives, where are the wives? I'm not hearing you." Okay. He says, like I do, wife, be in subjection to your own. Are you with me? Yes. That if any obey not that, what? 
They may also, without the wow. word, build one by the conversation of their wife. While they see, while they behold your church conversation, coupled with fear, whose adorning, let it not be that of outward adorning, of plating hair, wearing gold drinks, pencil, contact a pen, ruler, or of putting on of apparel. But let it be the hidden man of the, are you reading me? With me. Let it be the, the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible. Even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which in the sight of God is, for the women of, for this, after this matter, in this, after this manner, in the old times, the holy women who are so trusted in God adorn themselves that way, being in subjection to their own husband. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you all are, as long as you do well, and you're not afraid of any amazing. Very clear. Praise the Lord. Amen. That means, I'm sorry, I'm going to slap a small line of understanding. Some women think they must win battles by talking. That's why you lose them. Oh <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You, you think that you're going to win every battle by talking back, answering back, attacking back, speaking back. You understand? You know? I wish there was a man here, you'd be saying, Hey! hey. 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 It's okay. Hey. You understand? For you, you think everything you have to answer. You understand? For you, you think. That that's how they win battles. I just showed you another way of winning battles. Sex, conversation without words. Are you hearing me? Amen. That thing that you can without words make a man kneel down and say, what, what do you want me to do? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Get him from up there and then you put him so down here. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Without abusing him, without quarreling, without misunderstanding each other, without putting strings, I'll tell you the truth. A woman came to my office last month and her marriage was failing. Praise the Lord. Amen. It was failing. So she tells me that the husband no longer loves her. I ask her, is anything you do at home that is, is not right or something? She said, no. He just married. The next thing I know, he doesn't love me. The next thing I know, he no longer wants to sleep with me. If some of you understand what I mean about it, please. The next thing I know, he doesn't want to relate with me. The next thing I know, he's answering me like I'm this and that and that and that. Then I told him, I'm sorry, woman, but uh, I'm going to say something that might annoy you. The problem is not that man, the problem is you. She said, how can it be? Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. How can it be that it's me the problem? I told her that I have observed you for the last minutes that you've spoken. And I've realized that the communication that comes out of you is enough to ensnare you. If a woman's communication is near, trust me, her hidden conversation is more dangerous. It's more Do you understand what I'm talking about? Oh, I'm not she's a lot. I'm talking about it. 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 It's that Because you went over, are you hearing me? With a text conversation that is without one. Okay? Now, your conversation is already of evil word. How much more the conversation that you have say in silence, but has to minister to that man. So I sent her a certain CD of, so I mean, somebody actually got for her a certain CD. I recommended that she see She got a certain CD called Mastery of Words. I preached it mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. to know the power of words, to know the power that goes just beyond the words spoken to the words communicated in the spirit. She called me today at 4 p.m. this evening telling me her marriage is restored. Amen. Praise God. She called me this evening at 4 p.m. God is my witness. Amen. She told me her marriage is what? Restored. restored. But it was failing. Because she thinks that the problem is the man. No, the problem is you. Why? You have the power to win him over. God has not shown us yeah, 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 yeah,
He just realized the man that not that he doesn't want to talk, but he doesn't even have the wife. Can you get it? Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But by the Spirit didn't to come, she communicated. Now what she told, that by saying no, she just said no to the king. But she just denied her authority, her responsibility, her seat, her authority, position as a queen, her influence, her instruction, the one she instructs, hmm. the one she inspired, her participation, everything around. The word no did not only communicate to the heart of the king, telling him that this is not your wife. Again, it communicated to the times that judged Vashti. Because the Bible says for them that knew law and judgment. Signs and times, there was always a line of law and judgment. She, she defied the lines of judgment and law. She defined the lines of responsibility as a queen. And the inspiration she must be to, that's why I still tell people, some, there are certain things that we do or certain things that we respond to in a certain way. Forgetting how many people are behind us or how many millions and thousands are behind us that can lose it because we lost it. But she was not going to be a mother to a nation. If so, she was going to reproduce after a rebellious spirit in the women of that nation. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you ever see any woman rise up in the days of, of Jezebel? Mm -hmm. Why? Because she led the worst example of what it could have been yeah. for a wife. And how many women were raised, how many were inspired to the testimony and line of Jezebel. <clears throat> now, you see how serious that is? Amen. You see how serious that is? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So now we see the indifference of Rashid. The scriptures tell us they bring out a certain kagal. Somebody says a certain kagal. <laughs> now, there was something special about this woman, and I just wanted to share with that before I finish. Esther was not just Esther. Okay? The Bible tells us she was Hadassah. Okay? Which is Esther, so the scriptures say. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible tells us she was the daughter of Abihel. Abihel was a brother to Mordecai. Behel passed away. Mm. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Behel in the Hebrew is translated as a mighty father. Mm. Okay? Mm. So she was fathered by she was fathered by a mighty man. Okay? Mm. And the Bible says actually Mordecai is translated as little man. Mm. <laughs> so and raised by a little the little man. But fathered by a mighty man. Scriptures tell us that during that time they bring all the women. Okay. For the king to choose. Yes. Finally, he chooses who? Yes. Esther. He chooses who? Yes. Actually, the word Esther is translated as star. Did you know that? Yes. It's star. Not just English, it's star, but it's Esther. Star. The moon. Yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. So, beautiful, beautiful is substituted by star. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Beautifully substituted by Esther. Praise the Lord. Amen. Scriptures now, for some of you who know the long story short, because I have to go to the more sensitive line before I finish. For those of you who know the long story short, she was the salvation of Israel. She was the true judge in judgment. Praise the Lord. She was the kind who could pay a price for her own people. And the scriptures never speak of star ever being indifferent. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What verse didn't understand was queen was not a calling. Mm, 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 mm. Queen was not a gift. Queen was an assignment. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Queen was a what? An assignment. An assignment. That is why when Esther can be funny in any way, there are lines that align us to. If you become funny, yes. God shall raise yes. that away yes. in your place. Yes. Because the places that make the woman queen yes. Yes. is assignment, not gift or calling. But she misunderstood it. And that is why she comes in the office as beautiful gift. Mm. Not assignment, staff. 
mm. for child. Mm. Very simple. You don't even complicate it. Praise the Lord. Amen. The issue of the star is not just to guess on. The issue of the star is for science. Yes. Praise the Lord. Because for every season there is, you need a sign. The, if you never get a sign, you will never walk into your time. That's why the Bible says they had understanding of that time. And Jesus looks in the New Testament and says, For they look at the clouds and know it's going to rain, but they know not the signs of that time. Times are preceded by signs mm. after season. So when the season comes in, the signs come in for the man to walk into his time. Many people have had seasons bypass them to the end because they never saw the signs of mm. their time. Mm. Time is that personal moment when you had to hit and fly in because the wind was blown via locust. And locust, you don't fly without wind. You don't have wind, you have wind. How many of you understand that locusts fly with wind? So the, the, the season of the winds are coming, okay? But the time is very important. There are certain locusts that stay on the ground. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Why do they stay on the ground? Because they did not understand the sign of the wind. They misinterpreted the signs of the wind. But when the wind comes and it blows, locusts, you don't have wings. Wings, sorry. All you need is the wind. And when the wind comes, you only needed a small sign of the, you see, because the edge of the wind has a small sensation. Mm. You understand? Mm. But that sensation is so quick that it would require a quicker line of response for you to understand that by the sensation happen, multi seconds happen and the wind is already there. Mm. So many locusts never sense that. And they are left. But the locusts that sense just a little, I then realized that it had to fly. Oh, sorry, jump. That was it. It jumps, the winds fly, the winds blow them. And then they move in locusts in a group and winds. And what does that tell you about locusts? Everywhere they go, they can eat in seconds. And consume everything in seconds. Occupy until I come. You understand what I'm coming to? They can consume everything. But they must have the wisdom of that. Of the winds. And the wisdom of the winds is the sign. For them to know what time each locust must jump in. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because if you do not know what time, you float the line. And that's the essence of the star. That is why when the season of the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes up, only men of wisdom could have a sign, which was a star. And that was the necessity. We were not looking for beauty. Mm. At that particular point, mm. to lead us to Christ. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. We sought for a sign. And that sign led wise men. And only wise men could see the sign. Mm. Not any other. Mm. So that means that there is a wisdom that designs the sign for your time. Mm. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. And that wisdom will never be by experience. It will only be by the dispensation. Okay. Disposition. Where are you at the point where the, where, where the sign should be? Are you where the, the sign should be? That's why the scriptures tell you, when they left the light and then entered, the other people to ask where the sign is, the sign, mm. the, the sign disappeared. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Because it was not moving with the camp, it was moving without the camp. Mm. Are you hearing? Mm. It was not moving where many people were, it was moving where Papa was. <laughs> oh. yeah. okay. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Already it made them wise. It met wise men. The magic. It met wise men. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And those are the first people to actually truly bless our Lord. Yeah. Now, to mature, I understand what I mean. God, Francis, and Mark. Those are the first primary ministers to our Lord. Those are the first prophets to Christ in the body. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Only because the man understood the signs of the time. But she should have understood it was a sign to either promote her. Oh no. Mm. But Vashti has a problem. Vashti doesn't see beyond the sign. Mm. She's beautiful. You come back. I'm beautiful. Ah, Vashti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God had to raise another woman who understood that it was more than beauty. Mm. It was assignment and purpose to lead wise men. And if that star wasn't there, how would they have found our Lord? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And how many of you know stars don't happen during this? 
They happen in that. Yeah. That's why the Bible says in Proverbs, that such as woman, her candle does not burn out in the night. Yeah. There is a reason as to why he gave them that light of authority and grace to see in the night. Yeah. That is the ability for you to see where men don't see, because for us our functions are during the day. So God has created you with the ability of the dark places to see in the dark. You're like that other sense. That's why you married women understand. Everything you usually warn your husband on. He knocks. You warn him, you might say feel, but you still knock. You have like a feeling that the guy is dealing with you, but for him he can't see it. Why? Because for you, your candle is shining in the dark. Mm. Now if you're a woman, you can't even see that. Ha, ah, yeah, yeah, you're about shaking. <laughs> <laughs> because if the blind leave the blind, the two fall in a while. You ought to be seeing in the night, woman. <laughs> woman of purpose, you ought ah, to yeah, be yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Unless they are busy. That's who you are. It's your nature. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's your nature. It's assignment. That's why you become helper. Okay? You become helper because you come with the assignment of help. It's a sign. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I want to finish that. Because of that, she was replaced. And she was replaced by a woman of assignment who knew that her availability was by purpose, not only to stop but to save people. We realize that when Esther gets in the mix, we also realize that millions of people's lives are under her. Praise the Lord to this Christ. I don't know whether many women have failed to understand that everywhere you are, millions of people, millions of people can be affected by what you do. You may never know. But they can be affected by what you do. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the consequence of that is we see two women. One who is indifferent to the things of the spirit and one who is alive to divide battle. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, let me make this a bit personal. More than just women of purpose. Let me make this a bit personal. <clears throat> there are many Christians who are indifferent to the call of the master. They are Christians. Praise the Lord. They are Christians, but they are indifferent to the call of the master. They are feasting in the same palace. Are you hearing? They are feasting in the same palace. They have the positions and places where they are. But there are many Christians who are indifferent to the Master's call. Say the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I was warning people yesterday and I told them that a time has come where the church has to grow up. The days of being indifferent and having excuses for us to be limited as a Christian have come to an end. We can no longer give excuses for being unfunctional or having effect wherever we are. Because the days have come where the graces and mercies of eternity have poured out so much to the spirit of men to expose men just beyond the earthly realm mm. and the assemblings of faith because of what the physical eye sees to a place where men now can walk by the spirit and we meet the manifold wisdoms of the spirit. Mm. And because men are functioning in the white manifold wisdoms of God, are you hearing me? The eternal purpose has been laid before our very own eyes. The spirit of revelation has gone beyond just the average lines of our conversations and convictions as we share in prayer meetings to the places where now the true heart of God is aligned to the mind of what eye has not seen in the earth, what ear has not heard in the earth, what has not entered the hearts of men because it's somewhere in a certain darkness. Mm. Are you hearing me? Mm. And in that darkness, you walk there as a light. You walk there as a star. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And because you walk there as a star, you, it, it has to shine and be a light and land unto your feet to expose everything that is hidden by the Spirit. The Church of Christ has got to grow just beyond the average lines of thinking and speaking things that don't even become some doctrine. Mm. Even to the canon sense, just tickle your fancies to go back home excited mm. that you attended a certain meeting of women of purpose. 
but there was not really divine purpose established. I'm not saying you're not. I'm only saying that we, we, we have to get beyond that the lines of us meeting because we are women. Mm -hmm. The point where people are meeting because there must be purpose. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. There must be a satisfaction at the end of your walk. That you didn't just walk heavy, yes, you sir. walked extraordinary. Yes, you didn't just walk a normal life, you walked a supernatural life. Yes. Because now the real life that raised Christ from the dead mm -hmm. now resides in the inside of him. And now the Bible says that the church has to go just beyond lines of, yes, we are preaching to the soul. And the souls are getting converted. But how many men who have been converted are still back in the other world? Mm -hmm. Calculate how many people have once felt, confessed salvation in their life and where are they now? Why they are attrition rate? For every 100 people that get born again in church today, for the next 10 years, how many will stay true to the gospel? Mm. For indeed, we didn't even preach Christ that and resurrected to these men. But we preached a certain life of false conversions that now brought what you call mixed multitudes in the body of Christ. Mm. Some people don't even know what salvation is. Mm. They don't even know what it means to be born again. Because when we brought them, it was the meat and the coils of Egypt. It was the bread and cabbage that they ate. Amen. So when we're bringing them to salvation, come to Jesus, the demons will leave. Come to Jesus, you'll get a husband. Come to Jesus, you'll get a job. Come to Jesus, you'll get a car. And that was wonderful. But how about when you get the car? Uh -huh. What happened? Oh, oh, yeah. Even if the man never came, he married you. He is oh, your love. My husband. The Bible says, he, listen, this is bigger yes, sir. than whether you ever drove a car or you didn't drive a car. Yes, Divine purpose is bigger than anything. But we ever wish. Mm. Mm. But now God wants to create a Christianity that can fill up to that spirit, mm. that can take someone on the bed and just wait for an hour to our generation and just take 30 minutes and wait for the church because mm. the church is going through a lot of things. Men are preaching things that are not even gospel anymore. And I'll tell you the truth, the realm of the spirit is calling men who are indifferent, unfortunately. Because they look to the beauty of the church and not the purpose. Mm -hmm. What is making bodies of Christ today? Cathedrals and buildings. And they are wonderful to build. But Christ left some of these buildings long ago. Mm -hmm. Long ago. Long ago. He's not in this church. I'll tell you the truth. Trust me. Everywhere he went, the Bible says, he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Where the Jesus has never gathered men and he did nothing. It cannot happen. Where he is, his presence is. The Bible says that where he was, the power to heal, sorry, was present. This was beyond the last believe God to heal. No. The fact that Jesus is in a place, there is a presence of power. It must that when women of purpose meet, are you hearing me? Let men will come because they have healing on them. Are you hearing me? The blind will come because they have healing on them. The deaf will come because they have healing on them. But, but listen, the impoverished, the disadvantaged, that all kinds of people will come because they have had an answer. It's deep, they're, they're, they're sweating, but that's where the present is. They're, they're squeezed, it's okay, but that's where the present is. Because now they've gone just beyond of we are beautifully Christian mm -hmm. to the lines of we are by divine purpose and the same as mm -hmm. And there are the kinds of shine <laughs> in the night. Oh, yeah, and we are giving and leading many men to our Lord. Oh, and that's why when Paul sees this wisdom, he says, for we were commanded to be a light to the gentle and salvation up to the end of the earth. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's why when, when they look at their other ministry, they go just, yes, we have one soul in the church. But how about if, like a present three says, that we can make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery? How can we make all men see what is the secret of the mystery? For Tizo to see that their eyes will be opened to the fellowship koinonia. The communion that goes just beyond us meeting, but the lines of the spirit of apostleship that can give the right hand of fellowship for the assignments that are given. Because for Koinonia, fellowship, is just deeper than just us meeting for us to praise and worship together and go back. Listen, Koinonia has the communion of all this because it expects the fivefold ministry, pastors, prophets, leaders, evangelists, and, and, and apostles. For the what? For the perfecting of the saints, to the work of ministry, for the edification of the body. If you're not being perfected for work, then you're not fellowshipping. If you're not coming together, to get more equipped to go out and have work and effect, mm -hmm. then you're not communing. Mm -hmm. That's not fellowship. Mm -hmm. 
That means there must be a line of wisdom that gives the right hand of fellowship mm -hmm. and the apostolic line. It doesn't need to be an external apostle. Mm -hmm. Some of you in this room are apostolic. If you don't know, I'll pray. And the anointing will come upon you. <laughs> I'm serious. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. But now, we are, I don't, I don't know who started this, but I must have seen something way bigger than just the beauty of fellowship. Mm -hmm. To divine purpose. Because our decisions are going to arrest and dictate how the rest of the people respond. Mm -hmm. That thing that wakes you up in the morning to see the hundreds and thousands that must receive of your effect, and that should sober you. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So this is my thing, that now when a man speaks of the fellowship of the mystery, when a man speaks of just going beyond the winning of souls, to this gospel also that is preached to the principalities and powers, that even poverty can bow because men know the message of Christ. Are you hearing me? That go just beyond the encouragement of let us pray, let us fast, let us help each other to the lines of understanding the person of Jesus Christ. Person of Jesus Christ. That somebody will meet a woman of purpose and she speaks for five minutes and they will know there was substance in that woman. Because she was not speaking after the patterns of a beautiful church, but she was speaking after the patterns of an assigned church. Amen. God raised us there. Amen. Amen. God raised us there. Amen. Amen. Those prophets that are prophets and you can't even prophesy. Those apostles that can't even do anything. Those teachers that can't even utter. Those preachers that can't even preach. Those evangelists that can't even evangelize. They're just beautiful for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Not a sign. Not a sign. Mm -hmm. Not a sign. Mm -hmm. Tell your neighbor we're going to pray. Eight. Shut up. Let's pray in three minutes only and get out of here. Just pray. I listen. So I'm not going to leave you and give you a formula. You speak to your God. Speak to your God. You you weigh yourself. And and and, 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 and see whether you're living or you're living for the lands of beauty. Or you're living for divine affairs. And I feel that people here have a faith. And I feel that people here, the Lord is about you. I feel that people here, tonight something just opened your eyes to something that you've never thought about. And the anointing of the Holy Spirit is about to set you apart. Come and raise your voice. 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 I don't know what you're seeing, but there are certain people whose eyes are being opened. Oh, there are certain people whose ears are being opened. There are certain people whose eyes are being opened. Come on, somebody, raise your voice. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I feel like there's a presence of God that is about to descend into this room. I know I have seen. I know he has heard. 